Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're reviewing the Camo Fitness Sizzle Capsule Collection. This is launching on July 7th at 1 p.m. Central Time. And this is kind of a continuation of the last camo launch that I reviewed in a Love It or Leave It video with the new Featherlight Enhance shorts, and we had a couple different tops as well. But this collection, we have a couple more tops, mostly in the same color scheme. We have a top, we have a sports bra, we have the Featherlight Enhance leggings, which I'm a huge fan of. We have a pair of cargo pants. And then we actually have some seamless scrunch shorts that have made their way back. So we have a good mix of things. I do also have a discount code with Camo Fitness. It's just my name, Catherine. So make sure to enter that at checkout to get a little bit of a discount. And if you're wondering what's new, everything is new. So we are in my new filming setup and I'm so excited. So as you guys know, I graduated dental school and I was doing dental school in Nevada. And now that I am done with school, we have moved to Arizona and we're renting a house with a little bit more space. So I finally have my own room to do my filming and my YouTube and all that exciting stuff. And I've made this place super cute. I got this super cute couch, got these little pillows. I have a super cute little cat tree in the corner because Peach needed her own little space here. And I finally have one of these little racks. I've always wanted one of these. They're not expensive. Like I could have gotten one before, but I just, you know, we upgraded things now that we are in a new place. So it feels so good to have a little bit more space, a little better lighting and video quality for you guys. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. We're still kind of rearranging the space. I'm hoping to maybe get some, you know, stuff to put on the walls, but we are retiring the lights. The lights were very controversial for you guys. Some people loved them, some people hated them. They're like, what is on your wall and why is it changing colors? Those honestly just like were really hard to put up and everything, so we're not doing it again. Anyways, I will have a whole YouTube video on my whole office setup, all my activewear organization because we did reorganize a lot of things, as well as a Q&A video going over all my life changes, what's next for me and all that because I'm in a very big transition point in my life right now, so there are a lot of, there are a lot of changes. And let's get into the colors. All right, so of course we have black which is you know nothing special but almost everything comes in black we have dark iris which is a navy blue we have java brown brown has been like honestly like the color of the summer there have been so many brands doing a lot of brown loden frost gardenia which is like a warmish off-white peach bud which is only coming in tops this collection and then skyway and then for the colors of the eos seamless shorts there are also some additional colors of that we have strong blue persian jewel paradise pink and then peach bud which is the same as up there Okay, starting out with the Featherlight Enhance leggings. So these are a 25 inch inseam legging. They're made of a super lightweight, stretchy, naked feel fabric. So they're definitely on the thinner side of fabrics. So compared to these Serenity leggings, they're stretchier, a little bit thinner, and they're a little bit softer as well. I think this is one of my new favorite camo fabrics and I'm actually liking the Featherlight Enhanced leggings a little bit more than the shorts. So we have actually a pretty thick waistband as well as no top seam and then no front seam. There's also just a small triangle gusset, which is actually my favorite style of gusset. It still has that gusset there to prevent too much like discomfort in the crotch, but it's never visible from the front and that's like a pet peeve of mine. Then we have these slightly curved seams in the back. We have the silicone tonal camo logo. Really glad they started going the tonal direction. Then they have the back rise seam with a hidden elastic of it. So we have a hidden scrunch. And guys, hidden scrunches are becoming much more popular now. And I will just say, I said at the beginning of the year in my hidden scrunch legging video, I would love to see more brands doing it. And I am seeing more brands doing it. 
it's like I predicted it, okay? Petula just did this in their Sierra shorts and leggings, camo. They had this in their last launch, but I just, I, I love this little aspect. It just provides a little bit of glute separation without looking at all like a scrunch. Like you wouldn't even know it's a scrunch legging. And yeah, I will say that these are maybe not the highest rise leggings. You'll see when I try them on, but I did wear them to the gym today and they were more mid to high rise for me, but I still really liked how they fit and performed. So let's try them on. All right, so here are the Featherlight Enhanced Leggings. The first thing they remind me of is actually like an upgraded Napoa Gym rhythm legging. You guys know I loved those, but I feel like they remind me of those because they have like this slightly thicker waistband and maybe not like quite as high rise. I have pulled them up at this point, but they definitely want to sit just a hair above the belly button where some higher rise leggings like a Buff Bunny Legacy will go a good amount above. And then also just like the subtle curve around the glutes also reminds me of the rhythm leggings except this is like an upgraded fabric it's more soft to the touch brush and then obviously has the hidden scrunch so i felt like with the feather light enhanced shorts i was getting more of like a camel situation because of the hidden scrunch but i'm not really finding that to be an issue with the leggings i wore these at the gym today and I didn't have any problems. They were super comfortable in the gym. They stayed up well and I felt like they were flattering. So with this thicker waistband and a not super high rise, you actually get some lower tummy control, which is nice. You have no top band, so I don't get any cutting in. I didn't experience any rolling. Um, I almost never experience rolling in the waistband, but sometimes if leggings are like super, super snug, I do. These ones I feel like are true to size, but if you're in between, I would pick the size up. Since we have that little triangle gusset, it's not visible from the front. These are not going to be your most cellulite friendly leggings because they are on the thinner side. These are going to be very naked feel. They still are brushed, so they don't have that shiny look. And then you have the back. Like these are definitely at least a medium to high on the booty scale. I feel like I feel like I wouldn't give them a high because of the thicker waistband. They could just be a hair above the glutes for me. Like I'm happy what they are here, but if they were a little bit higher, I think they might be a high on the booty scale, but they're still super flattering. And this hidden scrunch stays put really well. It doesn't like fall down over time. Like I felt like with like the Paragon sculpt seam, those didn't have enough structure. Overall compression is about a medium compression. And then these are a 25 inch inseam. I'm still getting the hang of my new camera. So I hope we can see um, the full length of view here. It's a little harder to change the height of my filming so also you know give me any feedback down below if you think it's too bright or like anything like that let me know i've been reaching for a lot of seamless leggings lately but i feel like these just like felt so good at the gym like and i really loved how they look that honestly like these are the best camo leggings that they've launched in a while the waistband for me could be raised a little bit but i don't think for most people it's going to be an issue and i love how there's no seam along the outside and I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan. Let's get into the Clio corset top next. Camo does a really good job of not always coming out with like the shortest of crops. Like we have a longer crop length. So if you wear this with a pair of leggings, you honestly might not show any skin. I don't even think I would show any skin if wearing these with the Featherlight Enhanced Leggings. And I have a long torso. So you will be fully covered even though it's still technically a crop. It has that little sculpted detail that the, I believe it was the Isla crop last launch had. Instead of just being a bra, it is a top and the straps are also adjustable. And the bra in the last collection that had this little design, the straps were way too long on me and I just like honestly couldn't wear it. So the adjustable straps are huge. I am wearing it here. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there are no cup pads, which I just like, I don't really reach for things that don't have cup pads very often just because you do get that nippage problem. So I would have loved to see the option for some cup pads here. And then we also have like a little limitation of the bust space that we'll talk about as well, but let's try it on. Okay, so this is the Clio corset top without doing any adjustments up here. So it's essentially just a little mid-length cropped tank. As you can see, it is going over the legging waistband, not even really exposing skin when I raise my arms. So it's not a super like cropped crop. I would say true to size, if you're in between, you could really go either way. It's not like 100% snug all the way through on me, but I think it's like a good, a good fit where it's not overly tight. It's not like baggy. I love that the straps are adjustable. This is way better than the Isla top. Anyways, with the adjustable straps, it has just made a huge difference. You definitely, you know, look like you're wearing 
a bodysuit when you're wearing this with the leggings because there's no separation so just keep that in mind i still think it's a cute look but yeah we see on the top here that you know i just cannot fit in this little this little section they have here nor is there a built-in bra to like kind of like keep the girls there i don't know what the intended look for this is is it for super small bus where it's just kind of like meant to like you're meant to fit in there but just I, I don't know i feel like even if you had like semi smaller cup sizes like you'd still like tend to spill out a little bit because this is just such a restrictive area but there's no shelf to keep you in or maybe it's just meant to be like that and it's not like a big deal if you stay in it or not i don't know i don't know i feel like on me it just it looks a little bit off like it looks like it's not fitting even though it's not like cutting me off or anything so so for me this one is not going to be an item i go for a lot technically there's no belt and bra or anything so i don't even know if you'd consider support on this but if we did it would be a light support but coverage overall is actually pretty good maybe medium to full so yeah it's a cute top just you know no belt and bra no cups so it's really going to be more of a lifestyle top for smaller cup sizes and then the back is very plain just a little logo back there and then the featherlight cleo sports bra this bra is very similar to the joa brown sports bra and we just reviewed joa brown on the channel not that long ago so you guys know although i do think this one fits a little bit better unfortunately again no cup pads would have liked to see some cup pads but i know not everyone really cares about that or even wants them so if you're someone who just throws away the cup pads anyway this one doesn't even have the hole for it we have a little seam along the bottom with that little kind of curved contour style hemline and then we just have the straight up and down straps and the back is just straight across as well. And then you still have that little tonal logo there. I also wore this one to the gym today. And while I was definitely missing the cup pads, still was definitely something that I could wear. Okay, so here is the Clio sports bra. And I would say overall, it is true to size. If you're in between, you can really choose either one. But I'm happy with the size small here. And compared to some of the bras from the last camo collection, I definitely am getting more coverage out of this one, which I like, but there are just some things with the bra that don't perfectly work for a larger cup size. So we have this cute little scooped detail. You do lose it a little bit sometimes with a larger bust just because it kind of gets like tucked under and it might just look like a regular sports bra. This is a super short line sports bra. Like there's no band below the bust. It just has this small little seam. So occasionally from some angles, you may get like a tiny little peep of under boob. I never felt like I was going to be falling out of this bra. My whole workout today, I did back day. So, you know, I was leaning over doing bent over rows. I was doing deadlifts, things like that. I never felt like I was actually going to fall out of it. But I feel like I get this problem with bras that don't have cup pads sometimes. I am getting a little bit of top spillage here just because it's a little snug and we don't have those cup pads to kind of give structure. I'm getting that little bit of top spillage. So I don't think I would want to size up because I would lose all support. So just keep that in mind. Again, didn't fall out of it, but I still had that issue you are going to get nippage because this is just a double thickness of the fabric there are no cut pads the straps go straight up and down but i didn't feel like i was going to lose them at any point and then you have just like a super clean look in the back very simple this is definitely very like clean girl aesthetic you know so like i love the vibes of the sports bra i just think if they added a cut pad honestly my problems would be solved overall coverage is actually like kind of like medium to full like i do feel very covered you also get a lot of armpit coverage like it really goes into the armpits i just really wish i didn't like have that spillage issue out of the top but the support it's not a ton it's not light light but it's more light to medium so so for my medium smaller cup sizes this is going to be an amazing bra i still think it works for large cup sizes but you just don't get a ton of support or structure from having those cups and then here's one more look at the back very smooth and the little total logo and lastly, we have the EOS Seamless Scrunch Shorts. So they actually launched these maybe a year ago and they had the EOS Seamless Leggings and Shorts. We are just getting shorts this launch. They're about a four, four and a half inch inseam. So you know me, this is definitely a little bit short for my body. Just my thighs just eat it right up also last time we tried the eos seamless shorts i thought they ran so small like they were giving me the worst sausage thighs so i wasn't a big fan of them i only got smalls again so we'll see how these are or if i need to size up to a medium or something but we have a thick ribbed waistband with a little bit of a difference in the ribbing on the side like slightly more spaced out ribbing we have the camo logo at the back that's embroidered into the fabric we have a slightly extended 
crotch gusset. And then it seems like a pretty stretchy leg opening, but there's definitely an end point to it. Then of course we have the scrunch in the back. It seems to have a very short back rise, which means you're definitely gonna have to pull it up the glutes quite a bit to get it where it's going to be comfortable or else the back is gonna dip down a lot. So we'll see how that goes. Everyone cross your fingers. I hope they fit. I just got this package today, so I have not tried them on or anything yet. All right, here are the shorts. And immediately putting these on, they are much better, much more true to size than the last EOS Seamless. So I will obviously have to try on some other colors because I am wearing a light color right now and light colors tend to be a little bit stretchier with Seamless. But so far, loving how these feel. Unfortunately, they are only coming in this short inseam, which is just not really my thing. I know these would roll on me at the gym. So if they had a six inch version of these shorts, they would be incredible. So we have a high rise, about like a medium compression in the waistband. I like that it's a little bit of extra hold, but it's not squishing you like a ton. And it's a high rise, but it's not like overwhelmingly high. And then we have the stretchy, soft, seamless. We have that little ribbed section down the side here and the scrunch in the back. The scrunch actually has a little bit more stretch to it than something like an Amplify scrunch. So I'm really not getting a ton of like tight wedgy feeling. It's actually pretty comfortable, but it's still going up the cheeks quite a bit. And I feel like it's also like a smaller scrunch. So definitely high on the booty scale. These look super flattering. They're also super stretchy, so they're not squishing the glutes down at all. We can see I did get a little bit of rolling even with that little squat. Also, yes, I missed a little spot with my self tan. I was in a rush last night and I was using a clear self tanner. So, you know, just moral of the story, don't be in a rush while you're self tanning. Anyways, not the end of the world. Um, but in terms of being thick thigh friendly, it's way better than last time, but I definitely am still getting some cutting in at the bottom seam. So I feel like the bottom seam could have a little bit more stretch to it, but honestly, this problem would really just be solved for me if they were a longer inseam in general. So still about the most thick thigh friendly. If you don't like four inch shorts, these aren't gonna be the ones for you. I'm still gonna try to wear them to the gym just because I think they're cute and I like how they feel, but I definitely wish I had a little bit more space for the thighs down there because we definitely see some cutting in going on. Okay, after trying on all of the EOS short colors, they're all feeling pretty much the same sizing wise. Like overall, they fit great. They're just a little snug in the thighs. So you can definitely consider a size up if you want a little bit more thigh space. I think that would still work, except I noticed that the waist definitely isn't like the tightest on the top. So, so just keep in mind whether you'd like to keep the waist snug or a little more room in the thighs. Again, I would just prefer a longer inseam and just in general for the thighs to be let out, but way better than the last launch. Like I would actually be able to wear these without too much discomfort. And the last piece, which I don't think anyone was expecting, but I appreciate them pushing the boundaries. We have the cargo pants. And listen, I mentioned this on my Instagram the other day, but, but if you asked me like five, 10 years ago, wouldn't catch me dead in anything other than like a skinny jean, a slimmer pant, but I actually feel like a slimmer top and then a more flowier or baggy pant is actually flattering on my body. So I actually could be down for a cargo pant. My only thing is that I do hope that these are long enough for me. So they're made of a nylon spandex on the outside. It has a little bit of stretch to it, which is nice, but it still feels like a normal pant, kind of a sleeker material. We do have little snap cargo pockets on the side, on the back. We have pockets on the front as well. We have a snap and full zip. They only come in one inseam, so that's something I would love to see Camo work on is having just a couple more inseams for their bottoms because I really like their flare leggings, but they only come in a 31 inch inseam and it's not long enough for me. Okay, so I'm getting 30 inches on these cargos, so they might not be long enough for me. We will take a look and see. And then these also have a wide leg all the way down, but they have a little bungee cord to tie it up like a jogger if that's what you prefer, but you can kind of wear it either way. So I like having the options. Personally, I've been kind of into like the more wide leg look recently. Then it also comes with this little belt with a little buckle, but I assume that is removable if you are not into that. Let's try them on. Okay, so here are the cargos. So I'm gonna talk up close for a second. So just immediately putting them on without tightening the belt at all. They definitely wanna sit at more of like a low to mid rise for a pant, which 
arguably is in, yes, but I am still more of a high rise pants kind of girl. So I don't love to wear things low, but when you wear them low like this, I do get a little extra length. So the length is fine. If I am to like pull them up a little bit more, the length could start getting questionable. That's if I wear them as like a wide leg. The material is somewhat noisy, like it's almost like a windbreaker. So if your thighs touch a lot and you're moving, you might hear a little swish swish. So just keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna try the belt now. The belt is very seat belt industrial. So just keep that in mind. So with the belt, I can tie it up to make them a little bit more high rise. I really think the length is okay for me. It could be a little bit longer. Um, and then we have all the pockets on the side. They snap open. They're actually pretty spacious. And we also have the flap pockets in the back. They are loose, but they also have a stretch to them. So they're very easy to move around in. And then let's tie up one of the sides here. So if you want to wear them more like a jogger cinched ankle look, you can do that here, or you can wear them as the wide leg. I definitely think these are cute. I mean, they are giving very like Kim Possible vibes. If you asked me about these a couple years ago, I would have been like, ew, absolutely not. But the cargo pant trend, it's it's unfortunately growing on me. You know, I am, I'm very easily influenced. The more I see a trend, honestly, the more I like it. With certain exceptions, I don't really think I'm ever gonna go for a low rise pant. But when you cinch the waist on these, you can actually get them to be a high rise and they're not like too tight in the crotch or anything. So what do you guys think of the cargo pants? Are we liking them? Are we warming up to them? I think I could be seen in public in these. Ian might hate it, but remember, we don't ask men for their fashion opinions. I also forgot to mention, but these are definitely thick thigh friendly. Um, I'd say the waist could be a little bit more snug, but that might be the style. Overall, I would pick the same size that you wear in leggings. Just expect a little bit of space in the waist. But I love that these are thick thigh friendly. I have room in the thighs. It's not snug on the thighs, but I still feel like they're cute in the butt area. They're not giving a saggy butt. And then they're also not tight on the calves. So, you know, it's hard for me to find. So that is it for the review. Let me know what questions you guys have in the comments down below and if you made it this far make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already if i had to pick two things in this launch or if i really had to pick one it would definitely be the featherlight enhanced leggings so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye